little big. Why am I dressed in a snowman outfit and baking cookies? Because as gardeners, we need to think a few seasons ahead. The day you plant the plant is not the same day you harvest. And right now, believe it or not, it's time for you to be starting your baking garden. I actually haven't seen a lot of videos, books, information on baking gardens. I don't know when they fell out of fashion. I don't know why a lot of people don't have them. I know I do. I am an avid baker. Maybe it's because everyone's a lot more healthy than I am, but we're gonna go ahead and just cover three easy baking staples that you can grow with things you can find in your supermarket. So it's super easy. I'll just go over them. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna plant, which is fun for adults and really fun for kids, is marshmallows. I'm gonna go ahead and try to draw some parallels between commonly grown vegetables and fruits, just to give you an idea. Um, of how to plant things and like what to expect. So for marshmallows, we're going to think of them kind of like tomatoes. So when you go to the store, there's many different types of marshmallows that you can buy. Um, here, I'm gonna give you some, here's a bag of just like big white marshmallows. And then you also have mini marshmallows. And what I want you to pay attention to is that mini marshmallows are not small big marshmallows it's almost it's more like indeterminate determinate it's like a cherry tomato so we're gonna think of the mini marshmallows as like the cherry tomato of marshmallows if you want mini marshmallows you have to plant mini marshmallows um if you want big marshmallows you have to plant a big marshmallow if you want fancy colorful marshmallows those are usually hybrids they're not going to grow true to form so like if you buy a box of lucky charms and plant them you don't know what you're gonna get but I always think it's fun to experiment so we actually have some colorful mini marshmallows here and we'll see um you might just end up getting mini marshmallows out of it you might get some weirdly shaped colorful marshmallows you just never know it's kind of fun so while it's too early to be planting these outside in the ground we're gonna go ahead and just start them in pots and I think I mentioned on another video um you could do soil blocks right now I'm just kind of having potting soil you know it doesn't really matter so we're just going to put them in there um make sure you water them really well and just cover them up and it's just like tomato plants you know you're gonna bury them to a depth that's about the width of the marshmallow and keep them well watered and they'll pop up and then once your frost date is passed it's good to plant you gonna plant some mm -hmm. all right go ahead and plant some we'll put it in and then here we'll dump the all right and then dump some of this on top Alrighty, so next up we're going to talk about, oh my gosh, you cannot have enough of these, chocolate chips. Okay, so where um, marshmallows are more like tomatoes, chocolate chips are more like, if you think of beans or peas, they grow in like these pods. And what's important to know about chocolate chips is that the mini chocolate chips are not different than the normal size chocolate chips. They're actually just an immature chocolate chips so that would be you're gonna pick the pod earlier i wish i had a pod to show you right now i don't i will show you once the garden's going i'll revisit all this okay so some chocolate chips are bush type these are actually binding types so i'm gonna plant them along this trellis you just do them the same as you would do like a bean or a pea just drop them in and cover them up okay i'm trying to find a spot out of the wind <laughs> um so these i wanted to tell you these are just semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, I know you can buy a range of interesting, weird chocolate chips, cinnamon chocolate chips, peanut butter chocolate chips, all that kind of stuff at the store. Um, those, once again, if you plant them, you might not get true to true to what you bought, okay? So you don't know what you're gonna get if you plant them. I always encourage you, go ahead and try it and see what happens. And um, yeah, but I know that if you plant these, this is what I use, so this is what I plant. If you plant these, you will get some of my sweet chocolate chips. I'm not sure of the cocoa content or anything like that, but I know that they taste pretty um, consistent season to season, and I save them and then just plant them out again. Oh, and because I know somebody's gonna ask, you don't have to direct seed them. You could start them in pots. You can start almost everything in pots, except for the next thing we're gonna start. I absolutely recommend direct seeding, not starting in pots. Okay, so the last baking product that we're going to show you today is a you would direct seed it, and that is sprinkles. So they actually grow in a vine and make these little pods. And I wish I could show you like what they looked like, but my son, like they squished them. So it's hard to show you. I found one that's kind of still 
intact okay so it's like it grows these little pods that then hang on the vine and then if you just open them and uh, sprinkles I don't know if you can see that with the light all right um so they're not always all the same oh look here let's see Ooh, those are pretty So I've, as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm not great on labeling. I'm not great on like, I don't care. I just want things to grow, food to eat. Um, it usually always works out. And sprinkles, I don't actually use them that much in baking. It's kind of more like um, something I think is pretty and cool. And so I just grow them for the novelty of it. But I think you'll really enjoy it just because it's so fun to break them open and like get all the sprinkles out. But yeah, you just take those then, the sprinkles, and just sprinkle them on the ground and then water them. But I do it after your last frost date. And then they make these vines and then the pods. So, can you find a different kind? What's that? What? Those are, okay, those are weird. <laughs> what do they taste like? Tastes pretty good. Yeah. That's so weird. Look at what, how some of them are like long and some of them are circle. Okay, so that's basically it for today. I just wanted to go over that. I know there's not this isn't talked about very much. So I'll show you when I actually plant these things out and I'll show you when I harvest them and what they look like and stuff like that. And if you want any other information, um, just let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful, that sort of thing. So until next time, um, happy gardening. Mommy, I'm gonna grab a chip.